first, right here on ABC 15 News at 11, a rare look inside the brand new Gilbert Mormon Temple. It's one of the most sacred sites, and you'll get a chance to see it up close on Saturday. ABC 15's Nick Vinzant just finished a tour, though, and he joins us live. Uh, Nick, thousands have already signed up for this open house, right? Yeah, when we were talking with officials out here, they were saying just how many people that are, that are signed up to come out here, and even they've been surprised by the numbers. More than 350,000 people have signed up online. They want to come out and take a tour, but we just finished our tour, which got us a first look of what's behind those doors. Once inside the temple, this is the first room you'll see. This is the entrance room where members must present a recommend card that must be signed by their church leaders every two years. That card allows them access beyond this point. The baptismal font, which you see here, rests on the back of 12 oxen, which represent the 12 tribes of Israel. This is where Mormons perform the sometimes controversial baptisms for their ancestors. Now, according to the church instruction rooms, are where the purpose life and the central role of Jesus Christ are taught. This room, the center of the temple, is called the celestial room. And this room is a ceiling room where marriages are performed. The Gilbert Temple has the largest ceiling room of any of the 141 temples currently operating in the world. Now, when you were looking at those pictures, you might have noticed this, but we'll show you it again. This is really displayed all over inside and outside of the temple. What you're looking at is a symbol of an agave plant. And when we talk with officials, they say that they design these temples around the native landscape. The one that they chose for this is, de is an oasis in the desert. That's why they chose the agave plant. And also, we just told you about that ceiling room where the marriages are performed. When we talk with temple officials, they see that not only are they getting a huge amount of people that want to come out and just see the temple, they've also gotten more than 100 couples that want to be the first ones to be married in this temple. Back to you. And understand why the largest in the world. Wow. Yeah, you can bet they're going to be very busy again. Those pictures we just showed you—the first time anybody's seen them uh, right now that we've been able to use them. So, Nick Vincent, we thank you uh, very much for showing those to us. The public tours begin on Saturday when the church opens its doors for the first time there. The temple opening up to the general public. Friday night we go in depth though with a look at the other rooms inside, the process that members go through to get admitted, and insight into temple marriages. Join us for the 30-minute special starting at 6.30 right here on ABC 15.